special treat today. We're going to try this out. The Ninja Creamy. All right. Well, I got to make the the cream the um mixtures and freeze them so tomorrow we'll get to try it but this is the ninja creamy let's see what it can do before we do it all right i'm hoping this works out very well but it makes ice cream sorbet light ice cream which i think is kind of like soft ice soft soft ice cream it looks like um smoothie bowl gelato milkshake and mix in so we can really customize it and use the sugar that we want and just dairy free all kinds of things but um turn them to almost anything into ice creams sorbet milkshakes and more so see we make the mixture we freeze it we put it in the machine it does its thing and then we scoop out and enjoy. Mmm, looks good. All right, let me get some mixtures going. All right, I'm gonna try a caramel de leche, a bourbon caramel de leche. So I'm not really gonna use measurements. I'm just gonna, I know where the fill line is and I know about what I'm supposed to use. So I'm just gonna do it that way. So I need, Half a can of sweetened and condensed milk, not evaporated milk. I'm sure you get the sweetened condensed milk. It looks like this. All right, so I need half a can of that. Oh, see, so you can tell how rich and creamy it is. Ah! And there it goes. Mmm, yummy. All right, just a little bit more. I think that's about half a can, minus what I spilled. All right, so it's that. It's milk and cream, but I'm gonna use half and half because that's half milk and half cream. Oops. So let's go up just about to the line. Yeah, just about to the line. And it wants some sea salt. That should be plenty. And then one to two, three tablespoons of bourbon or whiskey. I think that's what it said. All right, so I made my own vanilla. It's just vodka and vanilla beans. So I'm gonna put a dash of that into. There we go. Mmm, that vanilla. Yeah, the longer you let this sit, the better the vanilla flavor is. So. Now I'm going to stir that up and freeze it. All right, let's try a vanilla now. So I need half a tablespoon of cream cheese. Room temperature. Half an ounce. Is it ounce or tablespoon? I don't know. We're gonna do a tablespoon, why not, of cream cheese. And then a third of a cup of sugar. So that is gonna be our vanilla. Super, super, super simple. Some cream cheese, some half and half, which is substituting my um, heavy cream and milk and then I put some vanilla extract homemade vanilla extract all right that one's done too next up is peach sorbet you can use any kind of fruit this one is super super simple you take a can of fruit 
All right. Now I just dumped a can of peaches straight in here. Okay, some technical difficulties there, but now we're gonna make peach sorbet. So this is simple, simple, simple. You take the peaches, you dump it in the can, there it is, and you freeze it just like that with the juice. And I ate a piece of the fruit just because I wanted to taste it. I had to taste all of them first. But anyway, so we do that, then freeze it. Then we will sorbet it up tomorrow. All right, y'all, see you tomorrow. All right, everyone, I am ready. Sorry, I'm sideways. I'm not in the best angle for this. But here is the food, it, food the creamy, the ninja creamy. So this I froze last night. So it's a little soft because this is the one with the whiskey bourbon in it. But we are going to try this. Now this is really easy to put together. I know some people said they had problems, but there's a little latch here. You just turn the latch and take the blade and put it in. And let go. Then the blade is in there. All right. So this goes in the cup. And then the lid goes on top. Let's see if I can figure this out. All right, there we go. It snapped in. I just was having a little problem. And then this goes in the thing. You twist. How you do it? All right, hold and twist to release. I don't want to release, I want to lock it. So, all right, this is it. first time y'all, give me a second. I guess I should have read the direct, okay. So it goes this way and then when we turn it, it lifts up. Okay, now this is ice cream. We're gonna turn the power on. We're gonna hit ice cream. And it's gonna do its thing. All right, two minutes later. All right, I hold the button and twist down. Oh, that came off so easy. All right, so we're just gonna open the lid. And this is what it looked like after one go. I know a lot of people do um, a respin. Look. It looks like ice cream. I can taste the bourbon and the vanilla. It is, it is a little icy. I'm going to do a respin and see what that, oh, that bourbon and vanilla. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a respin. A lot of people do that. All right, the respin was even quicker. And look at that. Oh, it's a little runny. It's a little light. Probably because the alcohol. <laughs> probably put too much in. But it's creamy. Let me see. Yeah. I put too much bourbon in it. Mmm. Yeah, just a little icy. Next time I should use less bourbon. This will make a good milkshake later. Mm. I'm going to freeze this a little bit to get it a little harder. 
and it should be good. Yeah. Alright, y'all. This one is a success. It will definitely serve my ice cream cravings. <laughs> Alright. We're going to try another one in a moment. All right, I put it in the freezer, I don't know, for half an hour or so, and it's frozen. So let's see now. Oh, it's still kind of soft. But. Mm. Oh, the sides are... A little icy, but it's good. All right. On to the next. Peach, peach, peach sorbet, which is just a can of peaches with the juice. It looks a little, oh my god. Yeah, it's like, um, powdery. I think I think it's a little spin on this too. Alright, the race spin really didn't do much. So I ran the sorbet again and gave it a little stir. A little um stir. And it actually it's more like a sorbet. I could scoop this out now. I taste the peaches. I mean, all it is is peach juice. Healthy. I don't think there was much sugar. It's just natural sugar. If you want real sugar, use the peaches with syrup. I wonder how that would be. This is not not as good as my boozy one, but I'm not a big sorbet person either. All right. The vanilla, the plain vanilla is going to be later because I'm going to try that. Then I want to try the mix-in feature, but I don't have anything to mix in it right here. So that'll be another day, but make sure you like, share, subscribe, and if you have the foodie ninja, I want to say ninja foodie because I love my ninja foodie. If you have the ninja creamy, make sure you tell me what you try in it and what you think, any recipes and all that great stuff. All right, y'all. See you soon. And that's all for now. Bon appetit. All right. I went ahead and made the vanilla. So I did... The regular, and then I did a respin, and this is what we have. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's cold. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. And it's super cold. It is a little icy. I understand what people say it's a little icy. But that may be because I use half and half. And I probably should use more heavy whipping cream. It's a fat content. But yeah. Alright. Now I'm going to try the mix in feature. So I have these peanut butter filled pencils. That I'm going to mix in there. I'm just going to break them up a little bit. I don't know how many I should do, but. Oh, I guess I was supposed to make a hole in it first. And put them down in the hole. 
so. There, I made a hole. Let's do a couple more. So this is gonna add a salty, peanutty, crunchy texture to it. I, let's let's see. So like I said, there's several options, but we are gonna do the mix in. And it's gonna mix in those pencil pieces. So it's kind of, I guess it's like whipping them together. It's going pretty quick. Now remember, it is not a blender. So you don't want to put big chunks in there. This is just mixing it up. Yeah, so it goes down and then it basically goes back up. And you can see the progress right there. It's almost done. Oh, it's going down again, a second time, I think, or maybe it's going up. Yeah, it's going up, and then, that's it. This should be, it's done. Let's take a look. Oh, there it is, let's see. See, it's all mixed in. You can see it. Let me turn this around. Oh. Uh -oh. Let me move back over here. All right. So, yeah, it mixed it up. That's. Yeah, you can see. There's some pieces in there, and then, because I broke, it's weird, I used to not like stuff in my ice cream, and now I like it. <laughs> Adding the mix in took away some of the iciness. Or maybe because I respun it again. Damn, this is really cold. This has been like frozen for two days now. So, you need to freeze for at least 24 hours. This is 48 hours. Mmm. I like it. Some chocolate mixed in would be nice too. But yeah, but that is my Ninja Creamy. Um, yeah, I can't wait to make a milkshake too. Oops, and make a mess. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again really soon. Alright y'all, ciao.